Sup guys, so if you're trying to create those multicam or split screen effects in Final Cut Pro, there are a couple of ways to do it. To start with, I'm gonna show you the simplest one, two clips onto my timeline. And then for the first clip, and I'm gonna overlap them onto each other and then, yep, to make sure there's a little bit of space in between so I can easily see which is which and I can change the ratios and scales, yep, easily. First, I'm gonna adjust the position to around here. Secondly, if you want, you can crop this away. If not, it's okay because I'm just gonna drag this over, which overlaps everything. So I'm just gonna shift it over here to a place that I want and this creates a overlay and it's actually a split screen. So if you want to have a little bit of a line in between this, it's kind of simple as well. Go to the generators tab and then type custom, drag it onto the top of your clips and then go to this button over here and obviously you have to crop it, right? So I'm gonna crop the left and the right so if you see you can't move it up a little bit more so you can go here and then you can just yep change it and as you can see it's not in the middle so I'm just gonna change the position of this line and voila there is a very defined split in between and there's like two screens and that's all you need to do very simple so this is a horizontal split for the vertical split. It's very simple as well. You just change the position for the Y axis. And then let me just gonna show you by adding another video here. For example, this one. I'm just gonna drag in between those clips. And then as you can see, it's occupying the whole thing. I kind of want to show the whole screen for this one, so I'm gonna change the scale and then bring it down a little like this and maybe scale in a little bit more and yep, that is about it and there's a horizontal split screen and for me, I want to have this distinct split screen line as well so first, let me rearrange let me rearrange the sequence first and then I'm gonna crop away the bottom of the ocean around here and similarly I'm gonna use a custom block so I'm just gonna copy and paste the new one over here so since it's not exactly the way it's going to be the previous one I'm gonna just reset everything and then instead of left and right now I'm gonna change the bottom and top settings so yep kind of like this and then change the top yep and then change the y-axis and since there is a thing over here I'm gonna change the left as well voila it's simple so this is the simplest way to do it if you want to create this multicam and split screen effect and once you hit play yep as you can see it's doing well it's working well and the second way to do it let me re-overlap these videos first and then show you so i'm gonna go to the effects tab and type shape mask and then drag the shape mask over and you can see that there's a such thing like this if you like the feather it's okay if not you can just decrease the feather by dragging the outer line inwards or just change the settings over here so make it zero to make sure it's at zero then you can change things like this to make it a circle one it's going to work if i drag this clip below this and this is a split screen so for this one, I'm gonna make this <laughs> the centerpiece of the whole screen and then I'm gonna decrease the scale and 
change the shape a little bit like this and then I'm gonna split this with the background so obviously I'm gonna change it in between these two clips like this and then I'm gonna drag another shape mask yep something like this and change the feather to zero and obviously I can change the shape to maybe like this and then just enlarge, oh, not this one, and enlarge this, voila, split screen. If you really want to recreate those lines, it's okay to use the previous ones, but then a little step is to be done because this line has to be below the centerpiece like this, and voila, done and that's pretty much it and it's a simple step to create your desired split screen effects and it's very it doesn't really take a lot of time to create this and that's all for today's tutorial hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions or have any advanced tips you want me to create or teach you guys just drop me a comment or just pm me ping me on my youtube channel and see you next time bye bye